failure to respond to the board as requested is unacceptable. And that was City Comptroller Joan Pratt this frustrated this morning by the failure of Associated Black Charities to attend the Board of Estimates meeting. Pratt had asked the charity to attend after an audit found a lack of documentation about some of the money awarded from the Children and Youth Fund. The charity manages the fund. The audit questioned seven grant awards, finding they got money even though they were scored lower than other applicants. The auditor wrote there was not sufficient documentation to support the group's final grant award decision. Two weeks ago, representatives of the Youth Fund told the Board of Estimates there were notes to justify the grant decisions. They told Pratt they would come back to the board. Yes. Can you provide it to this board at our next board meeting? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. That meeting was today. I made a request that they, they be here, and it's just unacceptable that a request was made and they did not appear before the board because they said they would be here with the documentation. In a statement, a spokesperson for the fund said the audit is complete. The mayor and the city council president have said they're comfortable with the audit and want to move on. The pressing concern about the Children and Youth Fund is when the next round of money will go out. As we reported yesterday, some programs serving youth are faced with closure because the money they received last year from the fund is running out. We cannot uh, just brush past that. We have to make sure that every I is dotted, every T is crossed, but we also have to acknowledge that we have to make sure that these organizations are able to continue their great work and we'll be pushing for them to do that. A spokesman for Mayor Jack Young accused the city controller Joan Pratt of lying about the issue of the documentation for some of the grants. Pratt's response, she told me she has a problem being called a liar just because she wants to do her job. Reporting live tonight from City Hall, I'm Jane Miller, WBAL-TV 11 News.